Parts of the Bahamas are still trying to pick up the pieces after Hurricane Joaquin left a trail of destruction in the islands off the coast of Florida. So today, two 40-foot containers are being filled with supplies to take to storm-damaged areas. CBS 4's Lauren Pastrana is live in Coconut Creek with more for us. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Elliot, it actually took just less than an hour to fill up this entire container with hundreds of pounds worth of supplies for the Bahamas relief effort. Another container just like it showed up a few minutes ago. It will also be filled with supplies. Then they will be loaded onto a cargo ship later today, but there's still time for you to help. This 40 foot container is bound for the Bahamas. Carrying pallets full of relief supplies for those hit hardest by Hurricane Joaquin. There's much more than just water and clothes. We're talking stovetops, cleaning supplies, and hygiene products, the basics needed to get some Bahamians back on their feet. And we have blankets, we have tarps, so in case their, um, their home is destroyed, they can at least have a tent-like situation. Angela Loma is the executive director of Food for the Poor. The international aid organization's 70,000 square foot warehouse in Coconut Creek is packed full of items destined for those who desperately need the help. But the warehouse doesn't stock itself. The community has also been very generous in bringing clothing and, and uh, the, the, the medical supplies and things like that. Um, Jamaica, for example, donated a container load of water um, that we had shipped from Jamaica directly to the Bahamas so they'd have uh, clean drinking water for the time being. While tourists to the popular Caribbean hotspot may not see the devastation firsthand, those living in the southernmost cluster of islands lost everything and their lives are forever changed. You have to judge by the weakest point, not by the strongest point. Um, the fact is the tourist areas generally are very well built, they're very secure um, for the reason that they are wealthy areas, they have a lot of income, a lot of resources coming into them. Um, the little islands around the major islands, those have, you know, the, the people who are living there under much different conditions, and so they can't be forgotten. Now, Food for the Poor will be accepting donations for the Bahamas until at least October 18th. They're really looking for canned meats and canned milk, but of course, you can also donate cash because it costs anywhere from $5,000 to $7,000 to ship these containers to the Bahamas. Now, to find out how you can help, just visit our website, CBSMiami.com. Live in Coconut Creek, Lauren Pastrana, CBS 4 News. Lauren, thank you for that. Now to